So you guys never get to see or hear me talk ahead of time. This is at 8.30 in the morning. They opened this up at 7 to set up. So I always tell people for dealers, you gotta get there early. But we're gonna walk around, see if we can find anything. And hopefully be able to sell. I'm right back behind there. Alright guys, check in. I walked the show floor. I didn't really take any video. We're gonna try this a little bit different for a change. Picked up some stuff. Allen Iverson rookie. And then another Topps Iverson rookie. I know Wildcat. I know there's no football in any of this. I gotta go back and look at the football later. About Mr. Zion, it's like tanked so much, but he's actually been healthy so far this year. The Hyper Prism. This is all stuff looking to be graded. Zion Purple, uh, 99. Panini Threads, Shea. I think this one was numbered, it is. Out of 75, another Shea Razzle Dazzle. And I forgot two cards to show you guys. Two Jokic Excalibur rookies. So I picked that up already early to show, see if I can pick some more stuff up as people are starting to filter in. What's going on, everybody? You just got back in from the Derby City Card Show. I did a little bit of different video. Um, wanted to do a little bit more like that, but really just wasn't a whole lot of uh, stuff walking up to the tables. At the same time, I did walk around, look at some people's stuff. And not saying like their stuff wasn't good, it just was nothing that really excited me or where I saw like, hey, I could grade this stuff and maybe make some money and put towards a PC card. So, let's take a look. I did pick up this stuff. It was in two different batches from a new dealer that came in. Iverson, it's his top's rookie. Stadium Club rookie Iverson. Two Jokic Excalibur rookies. I know, Zions. But they look good outside these cases. I didn't get a chance to replace the cases yet because I'm like getting ready to get the whatnot stuff uh, loaded up here shortly. So this is the Hyper and this is a Purple. Both rookies, so kind of cool. And then I got a bunch of Shea. Um, this is the Razzle Dazzle, Dazzle Dizzle, uh, Threads Rookie out of 75. And then one, two, in the black jersey. One, two, three, in the blue jersey. So, I didn't spend a whole lot of money today. I, I was not looking to really spend anything, but I still picked up some stuff. Uh, basically, I gotta get an order out to PSA, uh, on Monday. Got a couple guys going to tag in, so we got to 20 cards. Instead, just us like, oh, I got to go buy 10 more cards or 5 more cards. You really don't want to, just to get an order out type deal. So kind of cool there. Because I only got one more left in grading, I believe, right now. But uh, overall, not a bad show. Um, there were other shows in the area, so traffic a little bit lighter than normal. I'm trying to think here. It's really about all there was to it. Um, I sold some stuff that I ha brought out like to the shows like four months ago. Never moved. So I threw it back in for one last time today. I'll tell you what. I had Tony Romo Auto and Troy Aikman Autos uh, actually sell today. It was kind of like one of those oddball days where I was like, hey, if this stuff don't sell, I'm Pat putting it up, putting it back in the boxes, right? And... Uh, just some, I'm trying to think what else sold. Uh, Jalen Williams, basketball auto. Uh, some Hank Aaron stuff. Some was graded. Uh, one was a, a bat relic. Mm, Kenny Pickett, uh, jersey action card. Pedri, that, uh, I don't know if you guys saw. Yeah, I think I should have already a video. I came back PSA 10, that sold from soccer. Mm. Can't really think, but nothing like over. I don't think any one person spent over two hundred dollars winning, but I had like multiple between a hundred and two hundred dollar range. So again, pretty good show overall. Um, I knew it was going to be a little bit harder because there was already a show last weekend in Louisville and everything, and it was back to back ones. It's kind of hard, especially when you're there. Was like actually one, two, I think three or four shows within the area people could drive to from Louisville, like within maybe an hour and a half, two hour drive. 
But very happy with it. Again, I will be set up the J and J All Star Show uh, December 9th up in Louisville, and then Martinsville, Indiana, the Sunday before Martin Luther King Day. Uh, I will do one show somewhere in the spring, like around probably late March or in April. And then the Midwest Monster I will be set up at. I'll get two tables for it. Like I said, guys, I was going to cut back a little bit of selling at the shows. It's a lot getting all that stuff together, rotating inventory. When you see the same people at every show, it's like anything new. You know, and I, I hate pushing where it's like, man, I got to rotate inventory, rotate inventory. Kind of painful and sometimes. But I guys had a good time today, you guys uh seen there. I know at least one, two, three, four. At least seven or eight of you guys came by from the, the YouTube side of the house. So it's always good to talk to you guys. Uh somebody else was set up there and everything. Always good, always good. But all right, I am out. I gotta get the whatnot set up for tomorrow, and then I gotta host a Zoom yet tonight. All right, you guys take care. Catch you next one.